A tour group takes in the Conejo Viaduct, designed to take high-speed rail trains over the existing BNSF tracks. That's perfect. Members of the Los Angeles Railroad Heritage Foundation are known for preserving and celebrating the history of railroading in Southern California. This is CP23. Yeah, is but this day, they're checking out the future of high-speed rail. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to what our, our version of a golden spike would be. I'm, I'm expecting to be standing in Burbank in a few years saying, I saw this up in Fresno coming all the way down. It's going to be a really amazing feeling. And so we'll be taking you onto that side of the wall. California High Speed Rail Authority staff from the Central Valley and Southern California tell these rail enthusiasts about the project's economic impacts and sustainable benefits. And that small little building over there? In downtown Fresno, they also learn about partnerships that resulted in a giant mural paying homage to Fresno's Chinatown and high-speed rail. Right nearby, they see work underway at the historic Southern Pacific Defo, which will become a part of the future high-speed rail station. My parents came here in 1915. Foundation member George Higgins grew up in Fresno, and his family still farms here. So my father and I would come down here to watch the Southern Pacific Daylight come in every Saturday morning. I think it was around 9.30. Vestiges of what he saw all those years ago are still here, but he also likes the changes being made. You know, I lived in Europe, so I'm a big proponent of high-speed rail because uh, we need to give up our dependence on cars for everything. All the utility, water, uh, electricity for uh. that train will be on these trenches. And wonder ensues when the group makes it to the San Joaquin River viaduct. Nothing prepared them for the structure's size and its signature arches. I've gotten a lot of um, comments from friends saying, oh, that's still happening? Posting the social media for the foundation, Amber Lou Allen is quick to respond. And I think it's interesting because it's like, oh yeah, you know, you just kind of heard about it and then seeing how much infrastructure is already put in place, it's really breathtaking and massive. And high-speed rail is definitely happening.